Uh, so our next finalist is Andrea Palmer Borowski, and she is a 23-year-old from Port Moody, BC, and she is the co-founder of Awake Lab. Andrea, where are you? There you are. Okay. So today is World Autism Awareness Day, a day to celebrate and reflect on the support and resources that we give individuals living with autism. I want to start by telling you a true story. It's about Jamie. Jamie has an eight-year-old son named Jacob, and like one in every 68 children in North America, Jacob has an autism spectrum disorder. It's December 31st, and Jamie takes Jacob to the department store to pick up some last-minute supplies for their New Year's Eve party. 20 minutes into the trip, everything is going great, but just one minute later, Jacob has already overturned a store shelf, punched store infrastructure, and is on the ground kicking, crying, and screaming. It takes two fully grown men to wrestle Jacob back into his car. It takes Jamie three hours to calm him down, and she stays home that night, drinking champagne by herself and praying for the new year to be better. This is a part of everyday life managing an autism spectrum disorder, and we're changing this. My name is Andrea, and I'm from Awake Labs. We're developing a device called Reveal that will measure and track anxiety in children with autism and take away the most emotionally draining part of a day in the life of Jamie and Jacob. It turns out that your body can predict these stress meltdowns before they happen. Your body sends off physiological signals of stress and anxiety that lead to problem behavior. We're measuring the three leading indicators of stress and anxiety in real time sending a notification to a parent or caregiver on their smartphone so they can intervene and prevent the meltdown from happening. Parents are good at preventing meltdowns, they just need a way to know when it's going to happen. Reveal is designed to be completely imperceptible, so a child can wear it without even noticing that it's there. This takes into account the heightened sensitivity that children like Jacob have to any change in their routine or their environment. The truth is, autism sends a ripple through our communities. 115,000 children in Canada alone have an autism spectrum disorder. These individuals interact with millions of Canadians every day, but just to take one example, if every child has an immediate support network of eight people, that's 920,000 Canadians touched daily by autism. But we're quickly learning that Reveal transcends boundaries. It's not just limited to autism, even though that's where it was born. It can be used to care for the 500,000 seniors currently living with dementia in Canada, or the one in 10 Canadians who will be affected by post-traumatic stress disorder, or even for clinical stress and anxiety, a problem that takes up a third of Canada's entire mental health bill. It can also be used in the quantified self space, a market that's growing at 30% a year. And these numbers are just for Canada. Imagine if we translate that across North America and around the world. At Awake Labs, we're governed by one simple philosophy, that the exponential technologies available to us today can help make people affected by these disorders as powerful as the experts who care for them. Reveal gets smarter every time you use it using machine learning algorithms. It creates a database of information that researchers can draw upon to better understand anxiety in autism spectrum disorders. It takes advantage of the advances in wearable technology and smart clothing in order to greatly accelerate the product development cycle. Everyone who has a reveal can connect to our network of experts, empowering families to have better care at home. And in the future, we see that the doctor will go beyond the treatment room. It can travel through time and space on your smartphone to provide you with the right solution when you need it in the connected health space. Reveal integrates these technologies so that Jacob can become more independent and self-regulating so that Jamie can reduce burnout, and both of them can live happier and healthier. My name is Andrea Palmer. I'm the co-founder, CEO, and lead engineer at Awake Labs, developing Reveal. I'm the right person to develop this technology and the right person to go to Singularity University. My specialization is in robotics. I'm passionate about finding technical solutions to the mental and physical health space. Everyone we've talked to so far loves Reveal and wants it in their practice now. And I want to go to Singularity University to be like like-minded visionaries to help make Reveal provide quantified healthcare for millions. Thank you.
how much lead time does your solution give to, to parents or, or caretakers? So I'm going to change your question a little bit and say, how much lead time do you need? And we've been um, talking to behavior experts across North America, and they've told us that we need, in some cases, the behavior meltdowns due to anxiety, you would need about uh, three minutes lead time. And, and is, is that possible, given the solution that you have in place now, to provide that type of, of advance notice of uh, potential event? Yeah, so we're, we're developing the technology to make that possible. So in terms of the wearable, what is the expected product life? How often do you plan to change the shirt or the, the wearable? That's a really good question. So we're expecting that the product life, especially because we're dealing with children, um, and as they grow, they're going to need to adapt their solutions. We're expecting the product life to be about two years, and, um, and then they can buy another one. So we'll have recurring customers through that as well. Do you have a working prototype currently? So we've been working on this for the last few months. We're developing the prototype right now, and we hope to have it finished and ready for pilot studies by September. Can you talk a little bit about the, the technology and how you're actually measuring the anxiety? Definitely. So the three leading indicators of anxiety in anyone, and including children with autism, are stress, or sorry, sweat, heart rate, and skin temperature. So we look at those over time um, and use an algorithm to predict when um, a meltdown will occur. And what mechanism do you use to, to alert parents or caregivers that this is happening? And do you have to do it in a way where the child themselves don't become aware of it? Does it make it worse for them, for example, if they know something is coming or they're, they're physiologically re reacting? So I'm going to answer both questions. So the first is, um, we'll send it over Bluetooth to a parent's smartphone or caregiver. So the nature of children with autism is that they usually have a parent or caregiver close by within Bluetooth range, so we can do it that way. And in terms of, it, does the child, will it make it worse if they know that a meltdown is coming? And the answer is no. So part of the, the plan to help them become self-regulating is to tell them that they're starting to get worked up, and then they can take some of their own initiative to go and calm themselves down. Is this a shirt, a skin patch, a embedded, what, I, I saw the picture, tell me what that looks like. Sure, so initially we were looking at making it into a shirt, but recent, um, as we're developing constantly, we're looking at actually making it into a sock. So all of the sensors can be together on the sock, and um, it can be even more imperceptible. So many children with autism have a heightened sensitivity to tactile changes, so they like to wear one type of shirt, or they like to, um, sometimes they don't want their tags in their shirt. So um, there, there are a lot of sensitivities on the torso, so we're looking at putting it on the feet so it's less sensitive. Can you talk about the linkages and any of the advisors you have on the um, advice side of the equation? So you sense it, you test it, you send the notice, and, and then trying to get the support to either the child or to the adult mm -hmm. um, and, and that side of the equation? Sure. So we've um, established a formal brain trust of advisors so far. We've talked to experts, as I said, from across North America. We have behavior consultants, the leading behavior consultants in BC. We have technology experts who have integrated um, sensors into clothing. We have, we're in talks with researchers at the University of Toronto and at MIT Media Lab who are on our brain trust who are advising us on the algorithm and how to actually integrate it and use it to predict anxiety. And um, we've talked to a number of parents and uh, entrepreneurs in the autism space as well who are also helping us there. Did that answer your question? Yeah, for yeah? sure. Okay. Your background seems to be in robotics. Yes. How did you get into this? That's a really good question. So I, um, robotics is uh, sensors, actuators, um, software, mechanics, everything like that, and includes ergonomics as well. But I've always been passionate about biomedical, and I saw robotics as a, a pathway for me to get to biomedical. And when I um, found the team of co-founders, we all were drawn together by the social impact. One of our co-founders is a chronic health patient and has grown up with a number of um, people with autism. And another one of our co-founders um, his sister works at a autism care facility. So that's how we ended up in the space. We were drawn together by a common goal, and then we um, found our, our purpose, I guess, in developing this device. Okay. Great. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you.